y'all what's up welcome back to my channel my name is amelia danielle if you do not know me listen you need to get to know me because i talk about so many things okay so today i'm gonna be doing like a mini rant and so listen i apologize in advance but this mini rant y'all will want to hear because i need y'all honest opinion so comment down below based off of some of the things that i will be ranting about for one and for two i have some errands that i have to run i have to go to the post office and number three i have to go to work i have to go to work number four i need to go get a fill-in because my nails are looking a hot mess y'all um and i need to go look for some more workout clothes and so today is december the 28th and i still have to go to work and so this is basically how i am going to be doing this little mini car rant okay first and foremost i hope everyone had a merry christmas i hope everybody enjoyed the holidays i hope y'all didn't spend too much money when i tell y'all i spent so much money this year for christmas and the reason why is because i got my kids everything that they asked for um for one and i said that i was gonna start setting like a budget but i never set the budget for one and for two i got my oldest son Jaden everything that he asked for because he is a straight a student he is a straight a student he's a junior in high school he drive he's responsible he come home when he's supposed to he plays basketball um on the high school team he was playing football before basketball season and he does aau basketball and i just feel like he deserved everything that he asked for like i have a really really responsible child okay and so, I also ended up spending $2,700 on getting my car fixed. I have the receipt it was saying something about the camshaft and the timing and they had to go into the engine and all of that and I actually wanted to get a new car and that kind of like set me back a little bit because I was looking at some Teslas now I really would like a electric car and the reason why is because this gas and these prices and stuff is just like getting out of control it's just like i have to think about how much gas i want to put in my vehicle because i used to fill it up i ain't gonna lie i'm a whole warrant officer and i was filling my car up no issues but now that my car is paid off and i'm looking at the gas prices and i'm still getting premium gas i'm just like do i want to fill this car up like if i don't fill it up i'm going to eventually still have to get some more gas and i just have been more aware of the price of things especially because i get paid more so since i get paid more because i'm a warrant i feel like i spend more money if y'all have not heard of that saying the more you make the more you spend that is an absolutely true statement so I am actually at the gas station right now. I have to get out and pump some gas. It is currently 7.52 and like I said, it is December the 28th. And I know y'all are probably looking like, listen girl, Amelia, what is you doing? Um, it is January the 10th. Why are you just uploading this, this video? Let me tell y'all something. First and foremost, I'm gonna be more consistent in 2024. And I hate to say that, and you know what my grandma told me that hate is a very strong word do not use hate and she always said that when i was growing up and so now when people say hate i understand exactly what she mean and where she's coming from like if i hear somebody say i hate that person over there or i hate that they did i just be looking like but why like why you hate it can you say i really dislike i really don't you know what i'm saying so i really dislike pumping gas for one and i and i really want to get an electric vehicle okay so i don't want to say you know in 2024 this is gonna be this and this is how i'm gonna be and i'm gonna do this and do 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 do, do and whoop the whoop but that's just how it is like i don't understand why people feel some type of way when people say oh in 2023 i'm gonna do this and in 2024 in the new years i'm gonna be like this and this is gonna happen and i'm gonna change my ways and change my life if that person wants to talk about what they gonna do to be better coming into a new year let that person do it. Now, granted, you can be doing those things and working on those things throughout the year without using a new year as an excuse. But sometimes just saying, I'm going to do this 
for the new year like for example in 2024 i'm gonna do x y and z it just means that they're they are more aware of what they need to do my home girl is calling me but i'm gonna have to call her back and so that's why i like having a camera and having my phone because using my phone to record it just takes up too much storage on my phone i have too many pictures that i don't want to delete and so yeah i'm gonna have to call her back i am currently using a canon eos or EOS, I don't know how to pronounce it. I just say EOS, R10, to vlog this mini video. And so um, I talked about, you know, going into 2024, I want to be more consistent with uploading my videos. And so today, like I said, was the is December the 28th, and I'm going to try to get this video uploaded within a week. And so when people are vlogging, they vlog more days, they vlog more things that they are doing. And so that's why it seems, or it, it may seem as if though, when they time stamp different dates and things like that it seems like wow what took you so long to upload this vi video and so today is december 28th and i'm gonna try to get this video uploaded within like a week because i need to vlog some stuff for one and for two um and for two i have to edit I have to edit and so this is not like an easy process and so kudos and shout out to the content creators who go hard recording vlogging editing you know every single day I feel like that is their job this is not my job my primary job and source of income is the army the military so if you don't know now y'all know that I'm active duty in the army I'm a warrant officer I'm a 920 property book technician I love my job I get paid more I cross over as a sign first class I was at 12 almost 13 years of at at the federal service and so I had to put in an AFS waiver okay and so I'm gonna go ahead and get out and pump my gas and then I'm gonna continue this mini rant because I want to go to the morning jump my husband got me a freaking gift card for the morning jump for Christmas and I am so ecstatic I love that man so much for getting me a doggone morning jump gift card. I just, and when my birthday come and he asked me what I want, I'ma tell him I want the same thing. Can you please get me a morning jump gift card? So I thought my, my wallet was in my purse, but it was actually over here on the side of the door. And he got me this doggone morning jump gift card, which I will be using today to go get my coffee. Yesterday, I did not get a chance to go get my coffee which I had a taste for coffee, but I was so behind. Like, I supposed to be to work at eight o'clock. Like right now it's 7.56 and I'm here talking to y'all like on a mini rant because I know y'all can relate. And so yesterday I didn't even get to work until like 8.35, almost 8.40 and I didn't have any excuses. I just like was moving slow. I think I was doing some kind of um, Instagram reel and TikTok about my veneers and all of that. So if y'all have not seen that, go check out my Instagram at Amelia G5587 and my TikTok at Amelia Danielle 3. But I talked about my veneers and I gave y'all like a little quick update on that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pump this gas. And so yeah, that's why I didn't go to the morning jump yesterday because I was too busy making an Instagram reel and a TikTok. And by the time I left the house, I just was looking at the clock like, oh, I'm not going to be able to go get no morning jump. I so needed that water. Like, throat was just as dry as all can be. And then my husband was like, you ain't gonna get you no morning jump? And I said, babe, like, at this point, I probably should have, because I'm already super duper extra late, but I didn't, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna go get me some morning jump this morning, because even though I'm still gonna be a little late, everybody was texting in a group talking about, oh, I ain't gonna be there till 8.30, I went to the gym, or oh, I ain't gonna be there because I'm going to the barracks to do inspections, and oh, I this, 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 So, even though I'm a little bit on time, ain't nobody gonna be there anyway. And even if they are, they're not gonna say nothing to me. They're gonna be looking like, well, we don't have that schedule don't nobody even really care if you come in or not chief but um i'm gonna go get my coffee because i miss my friends tyson cat i pr trinity like i pretty much know everybody at the morning jump like i am a regular schmegular but um let me go ahead and get this gas I guess I'll go ahead and fill up because at the end of the day, I still will have to get gas if I don't fill up. Like if I get a half a tank, then when that gas run up, run out, I'ma still end up getting more gas. And so might as well just fill it up, you know what I'm saying? I still get premium gas, even though my car is paid off. I got a 2015 Dodge Charger Rally E edition and I paid my vehicle off and I still get premium gas. I just feel like 
if you take care of your car the way you're supposed to, it'll last longer. And so, granted my car is like seven years old, what, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, eight years old, I still don't, like the only issues that I have had with this vehicle is just the recent um, issue that I just told y'all in the beginning, which is the camshaft time and whatever it was that I had to pay $2,700. I have not invested that much money in this vehicle the entire time I have had it. The only thing I have done was gotten new tires new um, brake pads and stuff like that and my oil changes and I have had to get my windshield wipers changed out so the basic things for my car to keep it you know running and doing what it needs to do that is it so I know like gradually over time something is going to happen and I just have to figure out if I really want to invest in taking care of it at this point it's, going, it's just going to be my back and forth to work vehicle and I also was thinking about taking it and um getting like some things done to like the inside as far as like the details and stuff like that and i also wanted to give it to Jaden, but i don't know how i feel about that i feel like he's gonna be like mom why are you giving me giving me your car but it is paid off and I feel like I want him to have more of a responsibility in regards to like getting his own vehicle, making payments. He is really responsible. And like I told y'all, like he's just a straight A student. Even with his braces, he pays, he makes his own payments for his braces. He has a job um, and he gets child support. And so his child support goes directly to him. He has the card. I don't use it for anything. And so with the card, he, he makes payments with his, um, for his braces and he works. And so whatever extra money he gets, outside of his child support that he don't use for his braces he used to do whatever like put gas in his vehicle to go back and forth to school you know go to the gym and stuff like that and so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pump this gas like I said I think for the fourth or fifth time and then I'm gonna head to the morning jump and I'm gonna continue this mini rant because I got some stuff that I want to talk to y'all about and I just need y'all honest opinion on how y'all feel about certain things so make sure y'all keep watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel okay and then make sure you give this video a like the second little mini rant I want to talk about is getting gifts for people that you know you don't want to get a gift for but that person is expecting you to get them a gift for example we have the secret Santa at work I don't want to be getting random people a Christmas gift because I have to participate in Secret Santa. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, I'm going to get my PBO NCOs, my OIC, you know, a gift because I'm cool with them. I work with them. But then when you have random people included in the Secret Santa and we pulling names from out of the hat, I ain't never seen you. I don't, if I have seen you, it was probably at a meeting that we have once a week. If I have, if I have drawn your name or if I do draw your name, I don't even talk to you. Like, why am I being your secret Santa and getting you a gift? I don't even know what you like. And I'm all about getting people what they like. If you know me, you already know what to get me. You know my favorite color is blue. You know I like the morning jump. You know I like purses like Tefar, Coach. Um, you know I like sneakers. I'm a sneaker head to the T. Every like if you come into my house and walk my room, you're gonna see shoe containers full with sneakers. You know I like to dress nice, you know I like perfume, and so that's because you know me. But even with the soldiers, like if you are private and you got the private participating in the secret Santa and you telling the private not to spend no more than twenty dollars, what you gonna get me? Like, granted, it's the thought that counts, right? Right. But if you don't know that I like the morning jump because you don't talk to me and then you go get me a, a gift card from Starbucks, I'm going to be looking like nothing wrong with Starbucks. I don't like it. I feel like they're overpriced for the, the, the drink and the drinks don't even taste good. Um, so that's how I feel about the Secret Santa thing. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Secret Santa and if y'all think like how y'all think we should go about doing that. Because I understand everybody has to participate in it or everybody should participate in it. I feel like we shouldn't even do it. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like it should be something internal to your section or if you want to get your soldier something like, don't even tell them like, just come into the office and be like, hey, Merry Christmas. I know you're about to leave and go on your half day. Uh, I know you're about to go and leave. You know, the half day schedule is about to start and I just wanted to make sure I give you your gift before Christmas. You know, and then that be it. And I'm pretty sure if that person feels the same way about you, they would have got you a gift as well. And then they might get you a gift after New Year's and bring it to work after New Year's just knowing and just for the simple fact of you getting them something because maybe they didn't expect that you was gonna get them something because y'all work together you know what I'm saying so even with the civilians like we have these parties you know these Christmas parties and you are mandating me to come to a Christmas party that starts at six o'clock why 1800 if I am at work and the half day schedule is from 8 to 12 why you not having that Christmas party at 10 o'clock why you not having it at 11 o'clock cuz at the at the 12 when the half day schedule is over and we're released at 12 I'm ready to go like why do I need to come back here at 1800 and this is a rant y'all so don't be getting on here judging me I'm I just want to talk to y'all about how I'm feeling in these holidays and like how people instill the way things should be um and I know I mentioned civilians so even with the civilians they have these holiday parties they have these secret Santas you know I might be working with a civilian right next to me or like the a cubicle across from me but I don't talk to him you know I might come to the office and have my headphones on all day listening to my music knocking out my, whatever work I got to do but I'm over here you know getting you a gift and I don't even talk to you like uh-huh <laughs> like yes I'm confused even with the civilians, y'all have y'all holiday parties and y'all have to go, you know, smile and kiki and laugh, but y'all don't even talk to each other. Like, what? So, y'all tell me, and I feel like this is just like a traditional thing, and I feel like I'm trying to think, like, if these things were taken away, how would it make people feel? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we didn't have the Christmas parties and if we didn't do the Secret Santas, how would it make people feel? I don't even think I really thought about that or considered that, but I just know based off of the premises of getting somebody a gift that you don't talk to and another person getting you a gift who can't even afford it. Like, what if you're a private? What if you... You know, you are a single parent and you are mandated to get somebody a gift and you can't even afford it. It's just like, look, I'm over here, a single parent trying to figure out how I'm going to get my child a Christmas gift. But I'm over here being told I got to participate in Secret Santa and get you something. Like, what? Yeah. And I think the last rant that I wanted to talk about was these electric cars and these gas cars, right? Like, the price of everything is going up. It is. And... I just feel like I don't think gas cars will never go away so y'all tell me y'all input and opinion on that and this ain't even like really a rant I feel like we are enslaved to a lot of things and when I say that is I say for example and I'm gonna give y'all a prime example because this is my experience and everything that I'm talking about is my opinion and my opinion only ain't nobody asked me to get on here and talk about these things right so when I say enslaved to something it's like we want the nice cars so I got a brand new Dodge Charger you know I could afford it my payments was like 400 a month you know and I was good no complaints but as soon as I paid off my car guess what happened y'all my credit score went down and I was like what so you want me to be in debt to then work on having good credit to pay off the debt to then have my credit score drop like what the f it's just like I'm gonna stay at the bottom because how can I not and I, even for my and that's my experience even for my like my credit score dropped like 10 points and you know because the account was closed granted my car is paid off I don't have no payments I got my title in the mail and all of that that's a great thing that's a big accomplishment to pay off something but even like with my grandma right she had money to where when she went and purchased something she would just pay it she just go in there and be like here you go cash or card and it's paid off right there on the spot but she did not have any reoccurring credit. So it's like, damn if you do and damn if you don't. Either you want me to be in debt and make payments. Why am I making payments on something? If I got the money, and if I got the money, why can I not have no good credit? Because I don't have reoccurring credit. Because you can't see that I'm making payments to be able to manage payments because I got the money like I done saved it and so I want to save all of my money to get this and just pay it off and it's just like I'm being punished and penalized because that's what I want to do 
this just crazy to me like it's just crazy like I don't get it and then like I was saying about the electric cars and the gas cars right I don't even know how to feel about that I just know I want a, a an electric car and I'm prepared to plug it in charge it supercharge do all of this stuff but then on the flip side to that being that we're not paying for the gas because now they're coming out with all of these electric vehicles they are making people who have and own electric vehicles pay for other things like maintenance road maintenance i'm gonna send you a 200 dollars bill in the mail once a year because you have a electric vehicle and since you don't have to pay for gas i'm gonna make you pay for the maintenance on the road because you're still driving that vehicle up and down the road and so somebody has to hold on y'all miss forward hey hey how are you i'm fine Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Okay. That's perfect. My husband is there. He's teleworking today, so he will be home. That's perfect. Sounds amazing. No, it's fine. Whichever one works for you. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Listen, that was a mini rant. I'm, I'm done. Y'all just let me know. Look, it's, it is what it is. All right, so let me go into this office because at this point it is 8.47. But keep watching this this vlog because uh, I have to go get my nails done. I have to go to the post office and I want to go to the gym. And depending on if I'm hungry or not, I'm going to go get me some boba because y'all know I love boba. And then I'm going to go home, um, get Phoenix things together because Phoenix is going to be with my mom for New Year's. And we are going to Savannah, Georgia. So y'all make sure y'all continue watching this video. Let me know what y'all think. Leave all y'all questions, comments, and concerns down below. And like I said, do not forget to subscribe to this video and this channel. Hey y'all, so I am at the gym. I uh, wanted to show y'all my nails in the nail salon. Basically do like a mini vlog, but as soon as I walked in, Tammy started talking. She was asking me questions about my camera, like what kind was it, how much did it cost? She even got on the Best Buy website, and so I don't know if she just didn't want me to record or if she was really interested in asking questions about a camera because she said she wanted to get her a camera as well. And so I'm showing y'all my nails here at the gym because I'm about to work out. They look the same. They just grow or grew out a little bit longer. She asked me if I wanted them cut down and I said no because I actually like for them to be a little bit longer than how long they are now. And so I just wanted to get on here and show you all because I wasn't able to vlog being at the nail salon. And then I'll show y'all my toenails. And so my toenails were red. And when I tried on my dress or whatever, that I wanted to try on for New Year's Eve. It did not go with the dress. My nails were red. And for the men that complain about females' nails being white all the time or getting a French tip, the reason why is because everything else just does not go with different colored toenail polish. And so if I got on a green dress and red toenail polish, then that's just not gonna go. So I hope y'all um, like what my nails look like and my toenails and i'm about to go enjoy my workout and then run to the post office i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to vlog being at the post office because my battery on my camera is about to go dead and i forgot my backup batteries at home and so if i'm not able to vlog being at the post office then i apologize in advance i also apologize for not being able to vlog being at the nail salon I also said I wanted to go look for some workout clothes and this is why like some of my workout outfits do not match 
Like I have on some Gymshark leggings, but I don't have a Gymshark shirt, no nothing, which is okay. I don't need to match every time I come to the gym. But I ordered some workout sets from Amazon and those match, but I only got like two, three pair. And then from Gymshark, I have like different leggings, but like no tops and I just wear a random shirt. So as y'all can see now, I'm not coordinated, which is cool. I'm not saying that when you go to the gym, you need to be matching, but that's one of the things that I wanna go do is go look for some more workout clothes because this is what I'm working with today. Y'all, I had an amazing workout. Ooh, look at the sweat. So I went to the post office and as I was at the post office, my battery went dead and I didn't have my spare battery, but I was able to ship off um, my homegirl's package. And then I went to the dry cleaners to get my uniform because y'all know I always go get my uniform from the cleaners or I take my uniforms to the cleaners. And so I went to go pick up my uniform and I also went to get my bridesmaid dress because I was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding back in October. I went and picked Phoenix up from daycare and I came home, took a shower because I was so sweaty from the gym, y'all. Like, I had such an amazing workout. But now I am home. Um, like I said, I took a shower. I'm about to go inside and chill for the rest of the day. And I gotta get Phoenix stuff ready because he's going to South Carolina, um, to Myrtle Beach with my mom while we are in Savannah for New Year's. And so this pretty much concludes today's vlog. I hope y'all enjoy. Until next time.